the quest to help my fellow ProMouse users continues. <laughs> if you are a ProMouse user, you may want to watch this video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec, and uh, this is another video about ProMouse. And if you weren't aware what ProMouse is, it is a, a little application that allows me to highlight my mouse pointer like this. You will have probably seen me use it on some of my demonstrations. It allows me to magnify an area of the screen if I want to, uh, the, looking at the lovely Ecamm Live website. Uh, it also allows me to spotlight an area of the website, and there are also drawing tools so that I can draw things on the screen, like I could point out different things like this, or maybe draw a little arrow and things like that. So that is essentially what uh, ProMouse is used for. Uh, now, I did do a whole video all about ProMouse and the benefits of it, and I will leave a vid link to that video up in the top corner and also down in the description. Uh, and it's something that I've been using for ages, and I've found it to be work... I would say flawlessly for me. I've not really had any issues with it as such. Uh, and so I made videos about it and I've recommended it to lots of people. But it seems that lots of people have little niggling problems with it. And that is not a good thing if you are relying on this thing uh, to use in demonstrations and things like that because it can actually sort of put you off, uh, uh, off footing slightly if things don't go the way you expect them to when you're in the middle of a demonstration. And it's also not good to have a piece of software that you're not entirely confident in. Like I use Ecamm Live and I feel totally confident in using it and so I don't have to worry about that aspect of this video production uh, and for me it's the same with ProMouse but I do know that a lot of people are having uh, some little issues here and there and so I'm on this quest because I've recommended it to a lot of people and a lot of people have used it because of my video or because of my recommendation uh, to try to figure out what is actually going on and how to stop these little issues that other people seem to be having so that they um, they can have the same experience as I have and also to almost validate my recommendation because I wouldn't like to think that I'd recommended something to people that they'd bought and then it wasn't working for them like it should do. So that is the purpose of this video. It is another little follow-up. I did do a previous follow-up video by the way which may have helped some people out but may not have solved all problems so I'll leave a link to that second troubleshooting video up in the top corner. But one thing that I see often uh, happening in people's uh, demonstrations usually shortly before they say damn you Alec, <laughs> because of the, the thing going wrong for them, is something like this. And it's when they're giving a screen demonstration, uh, let's say this one, and uh, they're not intending to use uh, any drawing tools or things like that on, on, uh, uh, on ProMouse, but then as they're going to do something, let's say they're going to press a command click on something, and then they press command, and then that activates that particular uh, action within ProMouse or they press another button and it draws a line or maybe they draw uh, a freehand line or something like that when they're just not expecting it to actually do anything and that's because the hotkeys that you set, set for these I mean that's for me that the arrow key is just simply by pressing and holding command so obviously that is a key that you use a lot in uh, in other things but I have it as just set to this one particular uh, key so the thing is, you can toggle on and off the drawing. Now, I know people uh, know this, but uh, one thing that perhaps I think people uh, haven't noticed, uh, possibly, this is not going to be for everybody, but uh, some people may not have noticed, is if you come into the uh, the settings for um, ProMouse, there is this one... Uh, option here which is remember on off states and that means that you can toggle on and off uh, in fact if I come out of this and come into my demo mode uh, if I go into my pro mouse settings uh, in fact no, I'm already in my pro mouse settings aren't I <laughs> silly me <laughs> uh, if you come into uh, into here you can toggle whether these things are on and off so you can turn them on and off uh, in fact what I was going to do is I was going to show you up here, so I wasn't completely mad. Uh, so you can, you've got this option here to toggle functions. So you can toggle the zoom on and off, the spotlight or the drawing tool. You can actually toggle them off from within the menu bar. Uh, but yes, you can toggle them also on and off uh, from within the... Um, Whoopsie daisy, <laughs> a bit trigger happy on the stream deck. You can also toggle them on and off here. Now, what I have is I have a uh, an action on my stream deck to actually toggle them on. Uh, so for the drawing tools, for example, the way that that is, when I load um, uh, ProMouse, it actually remains as uh, off. So that drawing tool state is always, for me, off when I load ProMouse. And it only actually toggles on when I press my Stream Deck icon, uh, my Stream Deck button to toggle it on. And you can set that if you go into the shortcuts 
So here is where we can set uh, the shortcut for uh, drawing for example. So here you can uh, toggle it on and off. Uh, so it's this one down at the bottom. I'll just move this up a little bit more. Uh, you can see that we've got this one here. So this is the shortcut key to toggle the drawing mode on and off. So if you just have it so that that is off as a default uh, and then also make sure that in the uh, general settings you have that set to uh, remember on off states so that then it will remember that it's off. It will just be off all of the time uh, and then you won't get that uh, issue of uh, things like this where you just randomly draw on the screen when you are not expecting it. So uh, <laughs> just a little short video and as I say I'm in a quest to iron out all of these little niggles that seem to be uh, catching a few people out uh, and hopefully it can be a more uh, useful and, <laughs> and uh, reliable uh, tool for you all to use. So uh, if you have found this useful, uh, let, let me know in the comments and don't forget, don't forget to like and subscribe. But definitely, if this is something that has solved a problem for you, then let me know in the comments. If you're having any other issues with, uh, <laughs> with ProMouse, I'm not necessarily tech support, but I am determined <laughs> to get to the bottom of what is causing issues for people with this application. Because once it's working, uh, it's, uh, it's really, yeah, really useful. So... That's all I've got to say. <laughs> I'll leave a link to some of my other videos over on the uh, right hand side related to uh, uh, Ecamm Live. <laughs> and until the next time, have a great day.